There's plenty to still talk about. Now, we've been getting into some hot stove updates and things like that. I know we're also getting into some blockbuster trades, but we also have been having some triple T time. It's Tyler's trade talk as Tyler continues to just propose these sicko trades that make the crowd in the crowd, the chat go crazy. Twitter goes crazy. So I'm interested to see what Tyler's got today for us, John. And you get to, of course, weigh in on the conversation on whether or not you would take this deal. So time for some triple T. That's what I'm going to officially try to coin it. Tyler's trade talk. Tyler, what's your mystery trade of the day? All right, guys, just one today um, because I think we're all hurting a little bit. So just one trade today. (laughs) Um, And this one is a little bit of an interesting one because I think my initial thought for all all you guys will be your initial thought is it going to be an immediate no. And I think you need to dive a little bit deeper into this guy's numbers and look at his stuff to get to where I'm coming from um, because – the ERA itself is not strong off the top, but I'm not going to talk anymore. I'll let you guys just take <laughs> oh a look boy. at take a look at this graphic and tell me what you think. So the Phillies for the podcast uh, listeners get Mitch Keller from the Pirates, uh, and the Pirates would get Mick Abel and uh, Willem Bargola, the number ten prospect for the Phillies. Huh. Um, so Mick Abel uh, for Keller. Let me. Now I'm deep diving his numbers as Tyler instructed me to. <laughs> um, I had a four two one ERA last year, three nine the year previous. Uh, obviously, win and losses don't matter when you play for the Pirates, but he did get up to 194 innings last year. Uh, had 210 strikeouts on the year uh, with a one two four five WHIP, which isn't the greatest, but 210 strikeouts is pretty impressive. Uh, if he can get that that ERA down to like three nine four area, uh, that would be there would be some pretty impressive numbers in there. Uh, do I want to give up Mick Abel? Uh, I don't know if it's that pressing or not yet, uh, because of Christopher Sanchez. So for me, I might protect Mick Abel and say mm. no, but it's it's tempting, Renee. I don't know. This one doesn't really move me too well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, as you're reading through the stats and I'm looking at, at it, 20, he's 27 years old. He's a righty. Um, and his numbers, as you mentioned, haven't have gone in the wrong direction this past season. Let up 25 home um, runs this past year. Yeah. I mean, I don't... It's like a meh for me. Like... It doesn't make me want to just throw everything in there and say, do it. But it also is, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I know uh, in the chat, you guys are like, nah, kind of back yeah, and mean, forth can't, about like, like able being used for a better trade as spiral out saying, um, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I'm not, I, n- maybe I would say a maybe, <laughs> I don't know, John, I don't know if you're a little bit more convinced. Yes or no. I, I think this is a hard no for me. I mean, I don't I don't know what he's really bringing to us. I'm interested to hear uh, Tyler's rationale, but I'm looking at a 471 career ERA. Uh, career whip is even worse than was last year, 1.449. I don't know what he's really bringing us. And, I, you know, my natural tendency is to uh, ship out the prospects, bring in veterans, uh, get the known quantities. This one... You know, we're giving up one of our, uh, was it our number two? Uh, I'd, I'd rather stick with the upside. Um, I, th- I think I would pass on this one. Yeah, Spiral Out says, I feel like Abel can be used for a better trade. I'm kind of with him on that one. Yeah. Like, if you're going to give up your number two prospect, I'd rather do it for an outfielder that could contribute daily. Someone that can contribute daily yeah. is the key. Definitely. So, Tyler, after you deep dove uh, Mitch Keller's stats, you, uh, you like him? Yeah, so, th- again, these are not like uh, – n- none of these are I'm making this deal. This is my sure, – sure. like just yeah. I'm going – this is what I want. These are think pieces for you guys to, to go over. And and the numbers that I get into um, that dive a little bit deeper. Now, granted, you have to take these computer numbers with a grain of salt because they're not executed numbers on the field. Um, But his his FIP has been significantly better over the last two seasons than his ERA has. 210 strikeouts over the course of 194 innings. I think it's significant. (laughs) 
Um, th this was, to me, kind of a launching point season for him, even if the ERA was a little bit higher than it should have been. Um, he doesn't walk a ton of guys, 55 walks over 194 innings pitched, uh, near 10 strikeouts per nine, which is his career best since you know his first season in the bigs where he only played 11 games. I think that this guy is, is a, a turn-the-corner arm um, that is more valuable than his initial, like, like surface level number dive mm -hmm. plays into. I, I, I think the reason that I go towards Abel in this trade, and I know people are, are looking at it and going the number two and the number 10 for a guy with a 4.2 ERA last year is insane. The reason that Abel is in this trade is I'm looking around some of the, the trade conversations that surround Mitch Keller and some of the names that have, that, that have consistently popped up include AJ Smith Schauver. Uh, with the Braves, so it, it's it's young guys who maybe have a little bit of major league experience, maybe haven't quite gotten there yet. But it's it's either guys that are like eight, nine, ten in their farm system that have played major league ball, or it's three, four, five, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. with other teams that have not quite gotten there yet. That maybe double A, you know, double A type pitchers. Mm -hmm. I think Mitch Keller is going to go for a higher value than. Um, than people than think. people think. Yeah. That's a good point. Then you look at the other types of uh, possible trades or, or conversations that have been happening around Keller. Also, as you talk about the improvement, this was the most innings he's pitched in his career, and he did have those 210 strikeouts, which is significantly an improvement from past season. So possibly some upswing there in terms of where he's moving in his uh, direction of his career. 